Hi, my name is Paul Clevitt. I'm the author of the Signal Trader Forex Trading System and Strobot, the uh, trading robot. So basically, what I'm going to do in this video is to um, take you through the screens and some of the features of the system. Um, it runs on MetaTrader 4, which is an st industry standard um, trading platform. It's available just about every other every broker that you can see. Now. Um, it's a set of plugins. You basically can trade the whole of the forex market, pretty much all the majors, which is what we're interested in with two charts. So on this chart here, this is called the Strobot chart. So basically, what we've got here is um, this is one of my demo accounts. By the way, I've got a number of demo accounts and live accounts running. I was testing on different brokers and things like that. So um, basically, this screen is a kind of status update screen, and then you've got your chart screen for viewing charts. And the chart screen allows you to do some basic navigation. Instead of having lots and lots of charts to open, you just have one. And you go to GB Chief. You can use these scrolling buttons to scroll through the trade um, currency pairs. Or if you want to jump to a particular currency pair, you go select chart, Euro, CAD. So you just click on select chart. And then it just takes you to the right thing, which is quite useful. Now, also on the screen, you can see there's a number of... Um, things that I'm going to show you. First thing I'm going to show you is this top area here. This is um, basically your the chart and it's on daily because we we trade daily. Okay. This isn't a scalping tool. We're looking for medium term trades for about 50 to 100 pips, certainly not less than 60 pips. And let me take you through this chart. First of all, sub automatic support and resistance levels. Now, you'll notice that um, there's a big gap here for instance and there's also a signal line now let me just start with this big gap here so you can see that there now what I can do is I just click on the chart which I already have if I click on this chart here you see a, a grey button appears it says 192 bips $175 so if I click go on that it'll actually place a trade entry order ready for that pair ready for that move now um, basically what we're looking to do is trade in these wide open spaces these support and resistances are basically pretty much over three months it analyzes so if you get a wide open space like that it probably means that the um, market hasn't um, hasn't rebounded in that area so for instance um, here's one you see up there so if I want to place a trade here it's above the signal line which is a 50 day moving average uh, I can click there 104 pips yes please click the button and it places the trade entry order now what it also does is um, it has a system whereby in the middle of the night it actually goes through all the charts and does this for you. So it looks for trades and it can have um, sort of 30, 20, 20, 10 to 20 trades on I suppose. Trade orders, not trades. Obviously that would um, kill your account. So 10 to 20 trades. Now, so that's the top of the of the um, currency thing. So here's your support and resistance. Over here is the currency meter. This is showing, um, sorry it's complaining about that euro cat. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, this is showing the uh, a kind of high frequency. Um, let's pop that over there. There you go and see the the entry orders going on. Um, so this is kind of showing you um, the strength and weakness of a currency. But this is a kind of faster time frame, so you can see pretty much where things are at in the um, in the marketplace. Now down the bottom here, um, we've got the uh, momentum currency strength meter. Now this shows you the um, strength of a currency against all the others versus so versus another one. So in this case, I'm looking at sterling euro GBP. So you see they're highlighted. There's there's the sterling, which you can see is higher up, and there's uh, the euro, which is lower down. Now that's comparing the euro against all these other currencies and sterling against all these other currencies. So it shows you whereabouts the strength is. Now at this point. We're probably looking for a long, but we're not looking for a long until we're up here. Why? Because there's loads of support resistance, so it just bounces up and down. Let me show you some more. Let's flip through some more charts. A bit of fun. Um, so here's another one. Look at this. Big hole there. 54 pips. Not going to take that. Not interested. Um, there's a cross over the signal line here. If it breaks through this lot, so 132 pips. Yeah, I could have that one. Okay. Um you can see that if it breaks through the signal line, it's up there now, if it breaks through this, this all this resistance, it could be going all the way down here. Now actually, the robot has already placed a buy trade. Why is that? Because it's above the signal line. Um, 490 bit, 
190 pips, I think that is. Yeah, 190 pips there, so that's the sort of target we're looking for. Now, now I've got two trades going, one going up, one going down. That's fine, I'll clear that up later. This is only a demo account, so that's no problem. Um, again, you can see as I flip, it automatically sets the, it automatically highlights the currency I'm looking at. Now, these dots here, you can see this dot here, that's a signal for when a currency pair crosses. Now, we found that when a currency pair crosses, it means it's got normally some power to go where it's going to go. Now obviously we wouldn't, so for instance look at this cross here there's the cross there, we wouldn't actually take the trade because why? Too close to the too close to the, to the um, resistance. The big traders only trade in um, in wide um, blank areas where there's not a lot of support and resistance if any so that's what we do, we just copy them. So and these um, wide spaces are like magic in terms of the the way that um, the market tends to like look at this ranging you see this ranging between two points it's pretty accurate so for instance I could be looking at a short here so look what are we on GBP JPY so is sterling coming down towards the yen yeah the yen's falling and sterling's falling however uh, and we're below the signal line so I could think about an entry order when those two cross however because yen's falling they're not really going anywhere you can see this pair's not really going anywhere um, so I could I could think about I mean it's 148 pips it's quite a good trade it's probably where do you think it's going to go it probably is going to come all the way back down to there okay so same so it's really easy see how easy it is to do analysis don't want to trade this GBP New Zealand leave it alone okay until look at the robot the robot's chosen to trade right up here where there's actually lots of space see it's ranging around up here what's going to happen if it breaks up through there 187 pips Okay, does that sound good? Yep, we're above the signal line. So it sees how it's honoured the 50-day moving average, which is a big, um, the 50-day moving average um, is a big, important um, line for uh, many traders. Okay, a lot of long-term traders use the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average, but we found the 50 days more reliable. Um, so you can see, oh, here we go, there's another one. So there's a short trade there, it's gone back against itself uh, but you know you wouldn't go along on that would you why would you go along on it you know we've got a cross there for the short there's the short down here breaks through the resistance and I've got an entry order in sitting in here um, so I'm just waiting for that to to happen probably won't happen yet so you can see but the robot does this automatically every night so you don't have to do it there's also a web interface but for security reasons I'm not going to show you that um, but you can basically log in and set set up certain parameters and you can also view the trades the robot kind of thought about um, but didn't take and um, silly, like, the robot thought about and didn't take so that's basically it this is the signal trader for X trading system it works 24 5 you know 24 hours a day five days a week it sits there it spends all its time analyzing the market you've got trend information you've got um, the basic analysis of what, what it thinks you should do and um, and that's the Signal Trader Forex trading system. So if you want to get to it, it's www.strobot.co.uk or I want to be a forex trader.com. Got a blog where I publish um, various uh, charts and things like that. That's at uh, www.dailyforextrader.me. So the sales website is here at I want to be a forex trader.com. It only costs $99 for three months. Okay, per three months. So you pay $99, then you've got it for three months. Now the reason is because I don't think I should charge a million dollars for it, but I have external servers processing the trade, so I've got to pay for those. Plus we have a user group, which is um, really useful, so if you're a new trader, you can get as much help as you need, just have a chat anytime. Um, and that's it really. I want to be a forextrader.com, strobot.co.uk. I hope this has been a really helpful um, video. Please contact us if you've like, got any more questions.